welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shannon and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing what I eat on vacation. If you follow my vlog channel, then you know that Matt and I just got back from Gulfport, Florida. We were there on vacation for three nights with my family and we ended up staying in and cooking two of the nights. So I thought that it would be fun to share what we made for dinner and also take you, take you with me throughout the day and share what I eat. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you like it, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to upload new videos every week. Also, if you would like a peek in a more up close and personal look at what we did on vacation and into my everyday life, my husband and I vlog over on my vlog channel, Sully Vlogs. I will put a link for that down below if you're interested, but let's go ahead and begin. The nice thing about staying in a beach house is that you have access to a kitchen. So it made it really easy to cook at home. I showed the tour of the beach house over on my vlog channel. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Um, but it was an Airbnb rental. But starting first with breakfast, I had iced coffee every morning we were here because it was hot. And I also had a banana to get some fruit. And then I made granola using the Purely Elizabeth Cranberry Pecan Granola. This is my favorite gluten-free granola. I showed these um, packets on my Travel Essentials video, but this is raw protein and greens. It's just a good way to get in some greens and probiotics if you're traveling, and I just mixed it with some almond milk. Since most days were spent at the beach for lunch, we would pack a lunch. So we took gluten-free wraps, these are the Food for Life brand, and we put hummus and vegetables and just anything and everything that we could find. There was a little market near where we were staying, so that made it pretty convenient to find some good produce, but we would put them in little Ziploc bags and take them with us to the beach. We also discovered this cute place called Mangia Gourmet, I think is how you say it. Um, but they had a lot of gluten-free options, a really cute patio to sit out on. Um, and we went here twice, actually. They had great fresh juices and also some gluten-free and vegan desserts and really good coffee. So I got a coffee hey, coffee. and a... Surprise, surprise. Yeah, right? <laughs> and Shannon got... The juice. Yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> we both got the gluten-free vegan carrot cake. We're very excited. The house we were staying in was conveniently located near a public, so we decided to have taco night one night, and we all crowded in the kitchen to make tacos. We made some guacamole, and we had salsa, and it was delicious. There was actually a grill at the house as well, so we grilled some bell peppers, and it was delicious. That night we also realized that it was National Ice Cream Day, so at the last minute we went and had an ice cream run, and this is my favorite flavor of dairy-free ice cream. It's almost the end this of ice cream day. This is my favorite. Day. Yeah, I know, National Ice we Cream Day. We almost missed it. Yep. It's 11.41. <laughs> We're about to start. <clears throat> Moana. Yes! Our last night together, we decided to grill kebabs. This was my favorite meal that we had by far. We had pineapple and bell pepper and onion and zucchini. There was also some with some fresh shrimp that we got from the market. I made this huge kale salad with cucumbers and tomatoes, and we also grilled sweet potatoes. It was delicious. I also wanted to mention these natural calm packets that I talked about these in my travel essentials video, but this is a magnesium supplement. It helps me sleep at night. It just um, is a really great thing to take with you on vacation, especially when your schedule is a little bit different than normal. Um, but I would take this every night. 
So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm so thankful that I had an opportunity to spend time with my family all together. Uh, we rarely get to do this and my sister and brother-in-law are about to move across the world. So this was definitely a needed vacation for us. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.